Welcome back to the channel guys. Today is February 23rd, I do believe. If not, it's the 22nd, but you know, because I lose track. Uh, today started off as like in the real field being 38 degrees and we're in a Carhartt till now, which is in the 40s until maybe around noon, it's gonna be close to 70. So yeah, price, a uh, price. Temperature increase over the next couple hours here. Uh, we'll give you a calf barn update. I wanna go down and take apart this uh, ball joint valve to our milk bulk tank for feeding calves. Clean that out, spend a little bit of time. I wanna make sure that's all clean because things can build up in there and I don't want that to happen. Different things came, wire mesh for the back of the calf barn and the we new weaning barn. Uh, not, that's for cows. But here is um, the gates for our hutches. So you can tell, here's the, or the actual gate will be, the buckets will hang from here. And you see how this part's way higher. Then you'll have to snap, we don't have to snap our necks going into the pen. So this is nice. I like this a lot better. So I can't wait to see what this looks like on the cat barn. That's swell. All right, I uh, rinsed this off, but there's still some gunk that I can't really get with the hose or brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna soak it in bleach and that should eat it right off. So a lot has happened over the past week out here. They started slapping up the weaning barn. Uh, we're only going halfway because this telephone pole right here, the roof sticks out towards it. Doesn't look that bad here, but they're gonna have to take this pole out of the ground sometime. So once we get electricity from down there up to here, then we won't need this line anymore and we'll take this one down. Uh, so only like, I don't know how many pens this would be. Two, four, six, eight, ten pens. So there'll still be six more pens going this way. Uh, and then you can see the calf barn. So they're getting ready to pour the apron. They're gonna pour it tomorrow, Friday. And uh, then from there, they'll probably start hanging gates up and everything else. And, a calf farm would normally have and then that next week the calf farm will probably be done which will be good because the calf barn that you see behind this calf the new calf barn is gonna be probably getting full and then we'll work away into this one then we'll perfectly end a barn and start a new one so that's nice looks good well, I can't find me brush, so I'm gonna use the one in our skiller that we we'll use to clean out the water bowls in the weaning barn, and use that one to clean out the water bowls in the transition barn. And then my, we're gonna load up scrap. This like this stuff just kind of pops up. Uh, I wouldn't have to help my dad, but I'm going to because we have a lot of scrap, and uh, goes quicker when you have someone else helping. So. I'm gonna clean out water, clean out water bowls, and help my dad here. It's time, ladies. Time to clean your water bowls. <laughs> Seven more to go. You're welcome, ladies. I'll be back later to scrape your alleyway. It's a pretty good, nice day, isn't it? 37, 67. Looking good. 36, 35. Now it's warm enough for a t-shirt. 
Now you can see my pasty white arms because they've been in a jacket all, all winter. I was about to say all summer. Not that crazy. At least you get to see my dad's pasty white arms too. Me and my pops are going through our free stalls that we ripped out of this barn and the barn down there. Uh, there's going to be more bad ones from this barn and that was what we're going to. We'll save the good ones and sell them. Bad ones, we'll scrap them. But there's plenty of metal for me to mount you guys on, so. Yeah, some of these are that rusty though. You can tell they ain't gonna last long. Yeah. Like, this one's probably rusty. I mean, I like how rusty this is. The ones from the old heifer barn are probably going to be in better shape than the same. The ones from the old heifer barn. The ones from the old heifer barn got moved back to this barn. Well, so there's some small ones in there. Oh, are they smaller? Yeah. Me and my dad are stopping for lunch. He's gonna be taking a load of scrap then after lunch and maybe even load up another load when he gets back. I got some stuff to do though, but maybe I'll try to do that while he's unloading so that I can help load up again. All right, it's so after lunch. My dad's unloading the load of scrap and I'm gonna bring calves out and while well, I gotta finish getting hutches ready, then bring calves out, do everything I need to do before feeding so that I can help my dad load up a second load of scrap and then get to feeding, so. All right, time to pick up calves. All right, the oldest one stays because she did not get her second bottle of colostrum, which I do believe is 97. Well, she looks enthusiastic. What's your number there, Missy? 96? All right, you three go. Bro, you're going to have to get up. You can lay down your hutch center, all right? They poured an apron here in the calf barn. See that? That's good. That's good. We'll be in that calf barn in next week. Well, we'll be able to be in that barn. That's up to how many calves we're gonna have. So, uh, I mean, I'm excited to get into it. We don't need to have a crap ton of calves in a week, but it's probably gonna happen, to be honest. All right, after I, uh, well, I finished bedding up the new hutches. That was kind of a circus. The straw kept breaking apart on me. So now I'm gonna re-bed up hutches that need it. Isn't that right, huh? <clears throat> so these will be getting moved here very shortly. So I might just put a little bit in. They'll probably get moved next week. So, and depending how clean they are, I might not put any in, but these I'm gonna put some in. Welcome. Can I get a thank you? I'll see you at feeding time. I had comments before. <clears throat> uh, why don't we just get like a uh, bail, I don't know, bail buster, bail grinder? 
have it for a skid loader or like a 7405 and just drive through here and bed up hutches uh there's a farm that i know of that does something very similar truth is that you don't put a whole lot of time into bedding up hutches if you give them a good bit of straw i do like the idea though um, when we get more camps here we'll see if anything changes and during harvest time that would be very ideal because it's just like in the morning throw in a bale and then go through and bed up one barn and then another bale another barn so she's already working on spreading that out but like i said to that person that commented that we'll see Need more cabs first to make it worth it.